Hey, welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Uh, off camera, I beat up these people because I didn't know how long it would take. Because before it would take like forever, but I actually beat them up like extremely quickly, even though they were very high level. Um, so let's see what's in here. I didn't want you guys to miss this. Okay, well, we got this. Uh, okay. Have we had that before? What is that? There must, there must be, um, must be something we can God I hate this menu I just want to know what we got I'm guessing it's something we could sell wherever the hell that is It is. Uh, so, uh, oh, God. All that for that. Okay. All right. Well, we up, beat up this old lady, too. Ooh. Okay. This is the her drunk husband. Oh, a fine day to ye. He lives with his wife in Orwell. He loves strong spirits so much that he spends all of his free time at the tavern. Found another hidden item. I mean, that's really good, actually. Actually, really, really good. Huh. Um, I need to use those nuts at some point. That's a lot of nuts. Hill Cleaver. Yeah. Wait, didn't I buy... There's a, there's a weapon here that's actually pretty strong. I should... Ogre Cleaver. I lose accuracy. Lose accuracy. But gain critical. Lose a ton of accuracy. Like that's a that's just a bunch. Now for old brick. It's not too bad. He loses elemental defense. Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. I don't know if I can justify that right this second, even though it is really good. I don't think I need it. Let's let's continue with continue with Alfin's um, quests. 50, 40, 40, 41. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where is the tavern? Where is the tavern? Where is the tavern? Here it is. Your tale, chapter four. This is our first chapter four. Might be the end. I don't know. In Saints Bridge, Alfin used his talents to save the life of a thief named Miguel. As soon as the man could walk again, he kidnapped and wounded an innocent boy. Are some lives truly not worth saving? All right, what could possibly happen here? You know, I... I've come all this way and I feel like I've found more questions than answers. You listening up there? Still no sign for me, huh? Hmm. Better snap out of it before I wrap, before a wrong step puts me at the bottom of this canyon. It is pretty scary. 
Out of there. Why so glum? Truth is. Oh, woe is me. My poor wife and kids are fighting for their lives. Why did this damned plague have to come to our poor village? Haven't we suffered enough? A satchel of yours. I don't reckon you're an apothecary. <laughs> reckon I am. And the plague you speak of is what brought me here. Oh. Let's go. Do the best I can. Fair and well. Huh? Is something the matter? You're looking awful glum yourself. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now we should hurry. Yikes, I can't let them see me brooding. I I don't like that thing that flickers in the corner. Oh, you maybe you can't. Oh, you can kind of see it. I hate that. So distracting. Gadzooks? I'm coming in. Gadzooks. Yo. It's you. The hells? Excuse me. I'll begin the treatment. I would know a few things about you. Oh, he asks? He asked them. Huh. The name's Ogan. Oh. I'll be on my way. Forgive me. Whoa. Howdy. Is he you. sick himself? You again. Figured you'd have given up and gone home already. But it seems you're made of stronger stuff than that. <laughs> Damn right I am. Take away my medicine and dogged grit, and there'd be nothing left to save for a love of a good drink. <laughs> Mind if we shoot the breeze? What with all the patients needing tending? It's good to have you around. Let's say we team up. Two sets of hands are better than one. I think not. Thanks, but no thanks. I always work alone. How did I know you'd say that? As you like, then I'll do the same. Hmm. Well now. It takes care of everyone. He's still working on I dare say I've worked up quite a thirst. I think I'll hit the tavern. Fellow gave you some medicine just now, yes? <laughs> Let me see it. Alfin. You've been most industrious. Flagon of your strongest. How does he make his money? Does he say he, he does it How all for you? just just to take care of everyone? Something eating away at you, friend? <laughs> Shucks, is that obvious? Well, sorry about that. It's nothing, just a, a lost love. When I'm already in the midst of forgetting. 
trying to win me over, you're going to have to try harder than that. Whoa. There she goes. <sighs> Lying isn't your strong suit, is it? Hmm. So I'm not the only one who needed a stiff one. Uh, uh. Heed my words, boy. Tell too many lies, even little white ones, and one day you'll forget what the truth is. You don't say. Thanks for the diagnosis. <sighs> I saw the medicine you gave the villagers back there. Sloppier than before, almost as if your heart wasn't in it. Oh? Nothing gets past you, does it? Tell the truth, all this time I've been thinking. Who, what am I really doing this for? And these days, I just don't know. I can't find an answer. Uh. <laughs> Nor I. And I wager I've been searching for a fair bit longer. Hmm. You don't say. Huh? Is it me, or are your hands shaking? Afraid the answer is no. I think you've had one ale too many. Hmm. We're both exhausted, I'm sure. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> <clears throat> hey yo Alfin, Alfin. Oh? Hey there, what can I do for you? What can I do Whoa. you for? Me fever is getting worse by the hour. Oh. Ogan was taking care of you, wasn't he? Could he have botched the dose? <laughs> Perish the thought. Why, Sir Ogan's a thousand times the apothecary you'll ever be. The hell? Why, you, if you're so God's darn fond of that old grump. <laughs> I jest, I jest. Please, sir, I beg your help. Master Ogan's worn too thin to impose. What? Worn thin? <laughs> Why, just today he must have dropped his tools some 20 odd times. Later, he started coughing something terrible, and then he just wandered away. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. The fact is... Well, with all the patients he's been seeing, no wonder he's tired and all. Hmm. What if the apothecary gets the plague? Then what? Guess he could just treat himself. Melissa, please, please forgive me. <gasps> Always the same dream. <coughs> oh, he's sick. <coughs> oh. Oh, boy. He's coughing up some blood. No rest for the weary. My patients are waiting. Good God. I should walk around town and see if anyone needs my help. Okay. Gonna inquire? No. Hmm. You're too kind. Save my life, traveler. How can I ever repay you? Just doing my job. Hey, ya. Not so fast, old man. You. What's the matter? It's just to hear about you dropping your tools and hacking all of your patients. <laughs> Not one for tact, are you? What's the matter? What's the matter? Got a bad case of the runs? Afraid the answer is Even no. if I did, it'd be none of your concern. Come on now. Why don't I just take a quick look? That'll do. Why don't you just mind your own business? <laughs> Come on, old man. Believe it or not, I'm worried about you. Uh, How uh, touching. But look, I know my body as well as... He gets. Gadzook. Get in check up whether you like it or not. Uh. <coughs> huh? You're sicker than a dog, and I'd be one sorry apothecary to let you walk away untreated. Now be a good patient here. Ah. 
son of a... You still don't trust me, you son of a... <laughs> Hell's Incarnation. <sighs> Holy... You're falling apart inside and out. Your forehead's nigh on fire. What in blazes is this horrible purple rash? It's a miracle you're even standing. How could you let yourself get in this state? Don't you get it? You, if you don't treat this, you're going to die. Hi. Tell me something I don't know. What the? Feels it's his. It's his punishment for what what happened. I'll be on my way. Forget about me, Alfin, for both our sakes. Music's pretty good. Someone around here must know something about Ogun. Hmm. Somebody in here? You? Actually, I could talk to all of you guys. But <laughs> nice chat with you. My fever won't break. Okay, you guys are all. You guys are all really sick. I can't steal from you. Just hoping to get. Hoping to get something from you. Seems like I'll get nothing. Logan's mutterings. Melissa, maybe he's mentioning that we'll get the old man talking. Where even is he? he? He's resting at the inn? He is. Melissa, damn it, how do you know her name? Told you the story of how I came to choose my patients, yes? Tell me you lost your dear wife. She was murdered in cold blood by a man whose life you saved. Aye. But the story doesn't end there. <sighs> mm -hmm. After that, I set off on a journey. I had no hopes, no aspirations. I just wanted to help someone, anyone, in any way I could. Anything to do M Melissa proud. But... but it wasn't to be... It wasn't to be. One day, in a far-flung village, I found him. The man who murdered my beloved. Oh, shit. He had a family of his own, a wife, a boy, of some five summers. When I saw them together smiling and laughing, something broke inside of me. So I waited till nightfall, then snuck up on the man when he was alone. I left him in the same shape he left my dear Melissa. You, you can't be. It was a strange feeling, though saving his life took days, ending it took but an instant. Human life's a fleeting and fragile thing. I fled from the village as far as, as far as I could. From there, I continued my journey as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? None of these people know the man who saved their lives stole another. I can't bear to think of the pain and suffering I inflicted on the man's family, so I don't. But every day I ask myself, what's the right, what right do I have to play God with these blood-stained hands? Time and again, I thought of ending my own life, but I'm too much of a coward to do the deed. <sighs> How many years has it been now? In my travels, my body has come to be ravaged by every plague and pestilence our realm has known. But none once have I thought of treating myself. I am a murderer, a sinner. <sighs> Mine is not a life worth saving. Hmm. <sighs> you see now, Alfin? This is the answer I found. I'm feeling a bit tired. Pray leave me to rest for a while. Well. Well, shit. That stubborn bastard. Ain't there nothing in here that'll help at a time like this? Oh, what a mess. 
Been too busy to clean it out all this time. Ogin is determined to die. That's the answer he's come to. After a long and harrowing journey. What right do I have to think I know better? Besides, what can I do for him anyhow? I barely managed to get by as it is. How do I even go about fixing a busted soul? I'm just one man. One small, insignificant man. Damn it all. Mm hmm? A letter? To my dear friend Alfin. I was gonna say, this, this is friend Satchel, right? They switched. When you find this letter, no doubt you'll be off in some far-flung village somewhere. I was more than happy to urge you on in your journey, but truth be told, I was just a bit worried about you. Worried that along the way, you'd find someone and take on all their pain and suffering as your own. You've always had a sensitive streak after all. But, should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions? Remember what we learned together. Zeph. Zeph, you're back! That I am, Nina. Why does that little girl sound like 30 year old woman? Something the matter? Nothing you need worry yourself about. Alf. I've always admired your selflessness. In helping others, you think nothing of yourself. In that sense, you're the best apothecary and the best friend anyone could ask for. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. So go out there, Alf, and do what you feel is right. With your heart at ease and your head held high. P.S. This is far too embarrassing to say in person, so I'll just hide this letter underneath all your stuff. Understandable. Just reading that, my face is as red as a beet. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really got myself worked up over nothing, did I know what I need to do. And gods be damned if anyone will keep me from doing it. Ain't that right, Zeph? I'll show everyone what I believe in. Including you, wherever you are. And you too, Ogin. Just you wait. That's the thing, right? He was on his journey and like just kept questioning himself over and over. But when he started, he was just like, I'm gonna help everyone. I don't care. This is a big story chapter. I wonder if they're all gonna be like this. Sorry, old man. I'm here, whether you like it or not. Elfin, how many times must I say it? Just leave me here and go on your way. Oh, enough. Huh? Quit your belly aching and lie down before I have to knock you over. What? What in the God's name are you? So you're a stinking murderer. A sinner, huh? Great. Like I give a damn. It ain't my job to choose who lives and who dies. I ain't no god. If it's in my power to help a body, I'll be damned if that ain't what I'm gonna do. 
That's why I became an apothecary. That's what I believe in. There. That should keep you breathing for now. And just what do you plan to do next? Ain't it obvious? I'm gonna fix you. And not just your body. All of you. I'm gonna whip up an elixir that'll have you feeling like a new man. Just you wait, Ogin. Fix me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Hmm. I dash out of there like a man on a mission. But heck if I got the faintest idea of what to do next. I ain't never seen the like of those symptoms. Should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions? Remember what we learned together. Come to think of it. One time when Zeph and I were studying together. Alfin. Remember when we were small and you got real sick? We feared you were going to die. Slowly but steadily your body cramped up until you couldn't even hold a spoon. Those terrible purple blotches, I could hardly bear to look at you. I've been trying to replicate the elixir that cured you, but it's no avail. The traveler who saved you was really something else. <laughs> Too bad we weren't a mind of a mind to ask for the recipe back then, huh? <laughs> so much for remembering. Hmm. Couldn't hold a spoon? Hasn't Ogum been dropping his tools? Well, he had the same purple blotches, so yeah, I, mean, I guess he had the same illness. What a coincidence. I can't believe it, but. Right. It's too much of a coincidence. Or is it? Ogun has the same disease that I had. That means there's a cure. Same cure that saved my life. How did he make the medicine? Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't even remember my own symptoms until now. Damn it all. Must be in here somewhere. You really gonna remember? Great! You're a lucky boy, Alvin. The disease had all but taken over. You had a day or two at best. And I just happened to come along when I did with this potion in hand. <laughs> Fate works in mysterious ways. What was that laugh? How long did I labor to brew this elixir? And from ingredients that I may never see again. To tell the truth, it was meant for another, but that hardly matters now. If it saves your life, it will have been more, will have more than served its purpose. Sleep tight, son. We'll be feeling better on, on the morrow. Son? Father? Okay. Yo. A little outfit. Can't leave? Can't leave. Can't inquire? Oh, I should have inquired. Shit. Didn't I just inquire? Rest is the best medicine, you know? Now it's back to bed with you. Oh wait, you're gonna give me a second chance to inquire? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A traveling Paca fairy. <laughs> At least I think that's what he said. He goes around the world helping people who are hurt or sick, like me. Shucks, I hope I can do that someday. He's 24? 
elixir recipe. How did you get the elixir mm -hmm. recipe? What's in the potion, you ask? <laughs> you were jesting when you said you wanted to be an apothecary, were you? What matter for you such an inquisitive young mind? The elixir is brewed from the feather of an ogre eagle. How lucky. Fearsome beast whose wings span so wide they can block out the sun. They terrorize the skies from above the forest of Rube, not far from Orwell. How what a coincidence. A boy like you would be wise not to wander there, lest you get snatched up and spirited away above the clouds. Damned if I know how, but I remember now. All I need is the feather of an ogre eagle. And the flame take me if the force of Rubik ain't just outside of town. You saved my life again, stranger. Let's go. Dang. Um yeah, go. Go for it. It is a coincidence, but 